What is facet injection? If you've watched our other videos, you know that the facet is a joint in the back of the spine that connects one bone to the other. Over time, the facet joints can develop arthritis and develop pain. Sometimes the facet joint can be injured and painful after this injury. In certain situations, an injection of medication into those facet joints can provide some relief. Facet joints can be injected with a combination of an anesthetic and a type of cortisone. If the injections are beneficial, the medications will reduce the inflammation associated with the facet joint. The procedure is performed by lying the patient down on a special x-ray table that allows fluoroscopic views of real-time x-rays, which are then used to direct the needles into the facet joints. Once confirmed the positioning, sometimes a small amount of dye is also injected into the facet joint to confirm adequate placement. Then a small amount of anesthetic agent along with an anti-inflammatory agent is administered. The procedure is typically done without sedation, although some patients can request a sedative. If beneficial, medications will reduce the swelling associated with the facet joint, the acute flare-up of pain associated with arthritis or injury will subside. Sometimes, physicians will recommend a different type of injection to relieve the pain associated with an irritated facet joint. These injections are called the medial branch blocks. To review the anatomy, there are small nerves associated with the facet joints called the medial branches of the primary ramus of the spinal nerves. I know, big words. These are nerves that come off the spinal cord that go to the arms and legs. Associated with the larger spinal nerves are also the small medial branch nerves that signal pain or irritation from the facet joints. The medial branch block is an anesthetic delivered to these nerves to cause them to stop registering pain. Anesthetic blocks can wear off. Some doctors will use a procedure called radiofrequency ablation to effectively cut these nerves, providing a more lasting relief. I have personally used both techniques. For selected patients, the procedure can be beneficial. Facet injections can provide months of relief, medial branch blocks as well. Radio frequency ablations can provide up to a year of relief, but it doesn't work for all people and it may not provide relief for repeating the procedure. There is a theoretic concern about the medial branch blocks. The analogy I'd like to use is that of the check engine light. If your car engine has a problem, there is usually a warning light that signals a potential problem. Pain actually is a signal indicating this potential issue. The medial branch blocks and associated radio frequency ablations are basically similar to just removing that check engine light. While the engine may not register a problem, it doesn't mean that the pain or the problem does not exist. I know this is a controversial statement. Many doctors believe that there is a benefit for removing this check engine light to eliminate pain. But doctors also know that pain signals can be necessary to prevent overuse of the painful body part. In a car, if you do not investigate the reason for a check engine light, you might be delaying repair of the engine or something even worse. Are we doing the same for the spine with these medial branch blocks? So far, there's not been enough data to suggest there are long-term bad ramifications to these medial branch blocks and ablations, but time will tell. If you'd like more information about similar topics, please subscribe to our newsletter or our YouTube channel. Thank you.